Introducing the new 2015 Mercedes-Benz SL400 Roadster. The SL400 is powered by a new 3.0-liter V6 bi-turbo engine with direct fuel injection, pushing out 329 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque, which can get from 0 to 60 in just 5.1 seconds. The SL Roadster now comes in four different trims level, starting out with the SL400, which is what I have here today, the SL550, SL63 AMG, and last, the SL65 AMG. The new SL class weights nearly 300 pounds lighter than its predecessor. The sophisticated body structure of the 2015 SL is crafted almost entirely from die cast, chill cast, hydroform, and extruded aluminum. With 20% greater rigidity, it tips the scale in favor of greater safety, comfort, and most of all, athletic performance. The new entry SL400 offer a lot of standard features, some of which include 18-inch wheel, retractable panorama roof, adaptive bi xenon headlight with LED daytime running light, adaptive high beam assist, adaptive suspension, command system with navigation, Harman Kardon surround sound system, as well as many other features that are available as an option. Up front, the SL400 comes standard with a pair of bi xenon headlamps with active curve illumination and adaptive high beam assist. Integrated into the headlight is the LED daytime running light as well as the LED turn signal light. High intensity retractable headlight washer and park assist are also built into the front bumper. At the bottom is the pair of LED fog light along with the aggressively styled lower bodywork which include a deep front air dam with mesh intake. And here is a closer look at the Mercedes-Benz grille with huge Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle with the Stronic built into the logo. The hood features two aggressively looking air vents, one on each side, with double chrome ball on each vent. At the same time, give the SL400 a very aggressive looking front end. This SL400 model comes with the upgraded 19 inch AMG 5 spoke wheels with 255 35 performance tires. Behind the wheel is the set of cross drill brake discs and the large brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in silver with white Mercedes Benz lettering on it. And here is the specific SL fender with dual chrome ball to match ones on the hood. Body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. On top is the large panorama sunroof. Rear wheels are also 19 inches. Behind the rear wheel is the set of cross drill brake discs and the brake caliber painted in silver with Mercedes Benz lettering on it as well. It also comes with anti lock braking system, adaptive braking technology, as well as brake assist. To the back, you quickly notice the full LED tail light with integrated LED brake light and LED turn signal light. LED tail light illuminate quicker and brighter than traditional incandescent light bulbs, which could help make a huge difference in a panic stop. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser with chrome accenting trim that run across the bottom, which highlight the dual chrome tip exhaust. Parking assists are also built into the rear bumper. Rear view camera is located above the license plate and will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. Third LED brake light on the trunk lid. Okay, here I have the remote. On the remote, I have the panic, lock, unlock, and trunk release button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. The car does come equipped with smart access key system, so with the key in your pocket, press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as the Zigno Diamond White, featuring ginger beige and espresso brown napa leather interior with black ash wood trim and silver aluminum trims throughout. Very sporty looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start.
pop the hood and see what the 2015 Mercedes-Benz SL400 have to offer. Under the hood is a 3-liter V6 bi-turbo engine with direct fuel injection, 7-speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, eco start and stop system, rear wheel drive, pushing out 329 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in just 5.1 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 155 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 20 city, 27 highway and 23 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel with black on the top portion and silver aluminum trims and dark wood trims on it. There you have the lock and unlock button. Power adjustable seat. Three position memory setting. Both windows are fully automatic. And there's the side view mirror controlled. It does feature folded option. There's the trunk release button. Storage compartment. Mercedes-Benz illuminated door seal and there's the sport pedal and here is a closer look at the seat the seats are wrapped in sun reflecting leather upholstery to help reflect the heat from the sun both seats does feature heated and ventilated option with active multi-contour seats as well as massaging function both front seats feature 16-way power front seat with 3 position memory for the driver and passenger seat, steering wheel and outside mirror. The seats are very well padded and offer plenty of support as you can see. The 3 spoke design steering wheel is wrapped in leather with dark wood trims on top and bottom portion with silver accenting trims in the middle. Looks and feel very nice. Featuring multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the wheel you have the up and down paddle shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride and there's the windshield wiper control as well as the turn signal light control. And a closer look at the instrument cluster. Instrument cluster does feature the information screen in the middle. There's the cruise control as well as the Distronic Plus control. And steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. To the left you have the circular air vent and you can turn the knob inside to close and open the air vent. There's the beautiful wood trim, light control, and a closer look at the dash with the round analog clock in the middle. The dash are wrapped in leather with white contrast stitching. Now the SL400 also comes standard with the Harman Kardon surround sound system that's specifically engineered for the SL class. This premium digital sound system fills the cabin with 600 watts of beautifully balanced audio. Now looking at the center stack, you see the dual circular air vent separated by the uh, large multimedia screen. Now at the bottom you have the multimedia control different sources, volume controlled, and the telephone keypad. And here you have the heated and ventilated seat, traction on and off, emergency hazard light, parking sensor on and off, and there's your full climate control. Here you have the uh, cup holder, ashtray, beautiful wood trims. Now located on the center console you have your gear shift lever, with SL lettering on it. Now to get into reverse, just push up the uh, gear lever 
and once you're in reverse, the backup camera will appear on the multimedia screen with guidance line to help with a much easier backup and slightly down for neutral, down again for drive and press P for park there you have your different driving mode eco, sport and manual mode and there's the eco on and off button the suspension setting and here's the controller to your infotainment system you can turn the knob around to move around screen or move it up, down, right or left or press down to select there's the back, clear, multi-contour seat and the favorite button Very nice sound quality. And the uh, multi contour seat with massaging function. And here's the power retractable hot top button. All you have to do is roll down all window first and then hold and lift the retractable button up to transform your SL from closed coupe to an open roadster in about 16 seconds. Now this is the quickest hard top in its class and perhaps the entire industry. With a single button on the console, the top folds into the trunk, the rear window to pivot 180 degree as the hard top lower to help reserve cargo space with the top stow. Now to me the SL400 already look good with the top up and it looks even better with the top down. So to put the convertible hot top back to its place, just hold the retractable hot top button once again. And within 16 seconds, it will transform your open roster into a closed coupe really quickly. Here's your center storage compartment with the media interface cable and the USB plug under it as well as the 12 volt power plug. The media interface cable have the plug for your iPhone 4 or iPod 4 with the uh, auxiliary input. And here you have your storage compartment as well as another cup holder. glove box compartment and another look at the seat the seat feature air scarf on the headrest that comes as an option it is a vent beneath each head restraint which deliver warm air flow to your neck head and shoulder like a virtual scarf with individual three stage temperature controlled and air flow automatically adjusted to your driving speed it was designed to keep you warm in the winter and cool during the uh, summer. And here's a look to the back. There's the wind blocker. On top you have the light control. The sunglasses holder. And the SOS button to use in case of an emergency. And there's the rear view mirror with integrated 3 button universal garage door opener sun visor mirror with a card holder now let's see what we have behind the rear seat to fold down the rear seat just press the button located on the side and the uh, driver's seat will automatically fold slide forward and fold upward looks like you have two seats in the back and under the seat is a uh, storage compartment I'm not sure if you want to put somebody in the back but it is very tight in the back there you have the seat pocket and the hook and just press it once again to put the seat back in its uh, original position
Now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So the trunk in the SL400 offer 13.5 cubic feet of cargo space with the top up which is pretty decent for its class and with the top down there is still 8.5 cubic feet of cargo space left for your grocery down here you have more storage compartment which is not bad at all you still have some uh, cargo space either with the top up or down and one touch close gas cap is located on the passenger side and it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 19.8 gallons of fuel overall the 2015 SL400 is the new entry level SL class and does offer everything you would get in the SL550 except a different engine which is a V6 by turbocharged engine instead of a V8 engine. It offers luxurious features inside out with great upholstery material and premium wood trims and silver aluminum trims throughout the cabin. It makes a great luxury sport vehicle. Front passenger seats are very spacious and offer plenty of leg rooms. It is very comfortable in the front seat. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 SL400 video. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.